The bleeping housing crisis. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a look at this, well, Reddit post from a frustrated user on West, the West Australian Reddit forum just discussing his issues, I'm assuming his, with the housing crisis. Now I'm trying to wait until we jump in there because there are a few naughty words there. Hang on, let me just black them out for YouTube. Uh, yep, he's definitely an Australian with the number of swears in this in this one, the frustration is coming through. So, housing, the effing housing crisis. I know this will be a fairly common rant, but what the F is our plan for the housing crisis? I'm not even in Perth, I'm in Bunbury. This is supposed to be a quiet regional town. At least that's what I imagined. I've been applying for a lot of rental properties, but no luck. Had this property come up on re- on the real estate app yesterday for 450 a week. And I saw the ad said added 30 minutes ago. And I asked for an inspection straight away. Didn't hear anything back. So I just called the real estate agent. And she told me within that half an hour, more than 60 people have registered for an inspection before me. 60 people in 30 minutes. I mean, what the are we supposed to do? Not go to work and keep scavenging apps all day. I'm an early 90s kid. Does that mean you're born in the 90s or... And feel like my whole life has been like this. Every time I kind of get close to doing something, the competition just skyrockets. The thing here being living on my own. How is someone making 90 to 100 grand a year supposed to afford upwards of 600 a week rent? Well, it's meant to be two of them. There's couples that are getting together to do it, or you rent out other rooms and manage everything else as well. What the F did we ever get that many people in Bunbury for? Heaps of countries in the world won't let you own a property unless you're a citizen of that country. Why uh, why, why is that not the case in Australia? I feel like we're just going to end up being slaves to foreign landlords and greedy, bloody, sucking real estate agents. F, F my life. So this person is extremely frustrated and understandably so. Let's jump over to the Reddit post. Let's see, you know, get your neck beard. Hang on, is my beard on the neck? Yep, yep. I need. Where's my fedora? Damn it, can't find it. Anyway, get your neck beard and your fedora. Go on, we're going Reddit fishing. So here's someone. I try. I'm trying to buy a house in Mumbai. Keep getting outbid by East Coast investors. The agent said it's becoming a big problem down there. They buy from a video walkthrough. The last one outbid me by 10K with no conditions. Agent told me they will then rent out for outrageous prices. They're leeches just making profit from a crisis. You can actually buy over there and positively gear. Like, like you, you can make more money in the rent than the cost to buy with a mortgage. Well, at least, well, when we were at 0.1%. It may not be like that anymore. My rent in Falcon went up 180 per week because our long-term landlord got an offer they couldn't refuse from an East Coast investor, which sucks. But what can you do? Can't break lease or afford to save for a deposit now, so just hold on and hope. Um, I'm from the East Coast, and I hate those people just as much as you. Queensland is getting swamped with Mexicans since COVID. Now, here in Australia, the Mexicans are the Victorians, and I'm assuming maybe the New South Welshmen, which is... Well, I was. <laughs> My family came up when, what was it, Kennet came in in Victoria when we had the recession Australia had to have. We used to holiday in Noosa three times a year. So we moved up to Queensland. We, we were that. So, yeah, I, I was one of those Mexicans. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm a sophisticated Melbourneian. Or why I barrack for Collingwood and not um, not the Bears. So let's keep going here. Uh, what else they're saying? Um, what else? My only plan is to keep somehow paying my mortgage, even though it's gone up so much, it's now most of my income. I can't afford to fix anything in the house. So many problems. And some weeks I'm scraping to buy food. Just keeping the effort paid so I don't have to go back to renting because then shit gets so much worse. That is why you're not gonna, your people are going to fight to hold their bloody house. Also, try and remember I'm lucky to have that option no matter how hard it feels. There you go. 
Okay, if you, you're expecting a huge crash and property to come collapsing down, people will do whatever the hell they need to do to stay in the house. Um, um, my, my house too, it looks so rough, but can't afford to paint and replace broken items. My boomer parents can't understand why I don't just fix it. Um, yeah, that's, well, that's what you got to do sometimes. You just got to put up with it. OMG, mine too. While they enjoy a new th bed, a new... Third house and a brand new car. Wow, I'm glad I didn't have kids. Um, it's called Lithium Kimberton. The NIMBYs in... Uh, oh, these bloody WA names. In random word that says starts with B. Didn't want the workers camp. Now there's a housing issue. There you go. It's not in my backyard, guys. Not in my backyard, even here. Um... Government plan is to increase immigration. That'll fix it, I'm sure. Best minds in the country are working on it. Um, build 1970s homes again. Two, th three bedrooms, kitchen, one lounge room, one, yeah, one bathroom, carport, that's it. Simple and will be affordable on the right block. I mean, that's, that's yeah, but who's building them? No developer will build them. Uh, what, no work from home office, gym, art studio, junk room, unused home theater, ensuite and second toilet. What is this, the dark ages? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the truth, isn't it? That's the truth. You know, that's, that, we've looked at that on the channel at ho housing from ages back. They were much cheaper and much more affordable. Uh, I love the older home layouts. They usually have slightly better sized uh, bedrooms, linen cupboards and closed plan. Yeah, what else? What else are people staying um, they're all reminiscent about the 70s. That won't solve everything. It's not actually structure, which is the main expense. It's the land, yeah. We're not living in the 70s anymore. Australia has changed a lot and become a much more modern economy where most jobs are based in relatively dense commercial areas. Things like financial <laughs> services, technology, R&D, administration, things like that. That means everyone now wants to live in a relatively small number of areas, particularly in the capital cities. Well, half the people live in Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. What that means is that we need to adapt to the kind of economy. We need to build modern cities which make efficient use of land. We need to infill in our cities, build more apartments, townhouses, low-rises, condos, that type of thing. Yeah, but the not-in-my-backyard crowd would never want it. Uh, we need to build more places to live as quickly and efficiently as possible. So, guys, there you go. What do you reckon? Let's have a bit of a chat about this one. How are you feeling about the housing crisis? I think a lot of people can relate to him, but you know the one guy has the right point. It's not the 70s anymore. Australia has changed. More people are living here. More people want to live in the cities. We need to increase supply. And to do that, you've got to fight the NIMBY crowd. Not going to happen. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. Check out Heiser Bim or Heiser Does. And if you're a fan and want to support us, you can on YouTube or Patreon. Use our referral links via Pocket Squares or call me if you need an architect. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>